Good evening and welcome to our candlelight prayer service for Corona. I invite you to light a candle and place it somewhere in the house, in the window, somewhere else. Then we'll take some time to invite God's light to get rid of the, the darkness, the many kinds of darkness in our world. Um, and take some time to remember those who've died from the coronavirus before saying the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Her theme for this evening is just going to be the ordinary things in life. Uh, praying about, thinking about the ways that Corona has affected our just ordinary, everyday relationships especially with our family. So let's read first of all from the Apostle Paul, who reminds us that it's not the fancy and the really wise and the heroic that's the most important. It's the ordinary kindness and patience and love that we're able to show and share with those nearest and dearest and beyond our family circle. Paul says, If I speak the languages of men and women and even of angels, but don't have love, I'm only a resounding gong or a clanging cymbal. If I have the gift of prophecy and can fathom all mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have a faith that can move mountains but don't have love, I'm nothing. If I give all I possess to the poor and give over my body to hardship that I may boast, but don't have love, I gain nothing. Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It doesn't dishonour others. It's not self-seeking. It's not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love doesn't delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never comes to an end. There are three things that last forever, faith, hope, and love. And the greatest of these is love. Tonight, um, no wee stories from me, 
But in fact, uh, I, with her permission, I'm going to share um, a story and a poem and a prayer by Isabel McDicken that she shared with us in tea in the hall yesterday, where she talks about the love of her family and what has happened to it, how precious it has become or how more precious it has become during this time of lockdown. Isabel. Um, although lockdown is easing, but we still can't see all our families, especially in England and elsewhere. But we're very grateful that we can now see our families at home. I would just like to share with you a card I got from my granddaughter in England and my two wee great granddaughters in the middle of lockdown, which made me shed a few tears, but it was so nice to get it. And it starts off by saying, we're miles apart, but we're under the same stars. And this is for the wee great granddaughters. We all miss you, great granny, and we can't wait to see you and give you an extra special big cuddle and kiss. But right now the world's going a bit crazy and we just have to wait a little longer. But we miss you very much and hope to see you real soon. Kisses, kisses, kisses. And for my granddaughter, we love you all the way to the moon and back, but we can't have rainbows without a little rain. Stay home, stay safe. It's not about the storms, it's about learning to dance in the rain. We love you very much and can't wait to see you. And I've added a wee poem for you, great granny. A whole new time awaits us, Lord, the path that we must tread. And only you can see the way and just what lies ahead. There will be days of happiness, with laughter, joy and fun, or times when sadness comes alone and darkness hides the sun. There is a new challenge, Lord, but a chance to start anew, but we need courage, strength and hope, and love that only comes from you. Please walk beside us through this time and all our fears dispel then in our hearts we'll hear your voice. Go forward, all is well. I hope you've enjoyed sharing it, as I'm sure everybody has missed their families too. But it's nice to talk to people. Mm -hmm. Stay safe. Thank you, Isabel. And now we sing the hymn, Father, I place into your hands. Father, I place into your hands the things I cannot do. Father, I place into your hands the things that I've been through. Father, I place into your hands the way that I should go, for I know I always can trust you Father I place into your hands my friends and family Father I place into your hands the things that trouble me Father I place into your hands the person I would be for I know I always can trust you yes I know I always can trust you Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for our families. 
and for our friends, especially those friends who are like family to us. We thank you that they have been our gift from you, our tower of strength throughout this time. Heavenly Father, we pray for families who have lost a loved one to the coronavirus, that you would comfort them, that you would tenderly embrace them, gather them up in your arms, especially since the death of their loved one happened in such difficult circumstances where they were perhaps unable to, to visit them in hospital, unable to have the kind of funeral that they would have wanted. So much sadness added to the greatest of sadnesses. We pray that you would heal them of the pain of all of these different kinds of grief. We pray that they would turn to you often, that they would know you walking with them and would speak to you of the despair and the loss and the grief that's still in their hearts and come to the still waters of your comforting love for them. We pray for members of our family who are perhaps still ill because of corona, either at home or in hospital or in nursing homes. We pray that you would heal them. We pray for families who are unable to visit those in hospital, that your Holy Spirit would bind them together and that ways would be found for as much communication, as much love and talking and listening to be possible. We pray for families that are, as Isabel has said, still unable to meet because of the restrictions. We know the joy of a great family gathering because family is the place where we can be ourselves. And... We're all sad that that hasn't been possible to a large extent these past months. So again, bind us together with cords that cannot be broken. And Heavenly Father, we do pray too for our families that of the many lessons that the coronavirus has, has taught us the many things it's brought to our attention, that our families would be more aware of you and would take steps closer into your love and care through faith in Jesus. Gather them all up, Lord, and embrace them in your love. And hear us in a moment of quietness as we name before you the people in our families or perhaps outside about whom we are concerned today. Thank you, Heavenly Father, that you have heard and will answer all of our prayers through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Now go in peace. And may the blessing of God, 
the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you now and stay with you forever. Amen. Jesus bids us shine with a pure, clear light Like a little candle burning in the night In this world is darkness, so we must shine You in your small corner and I in mine Jesus bids us shine with a pure, clear light like a little candle burning in the night in this world is darkness so we must shine you in your small corner 